Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, we are talking about a easy, easy way to make some really cool fog effects inside of Fusion. It just takes a minute and it's super rad. Here's the kind of thing we're gonna be making. Ooh. This is a really simple technique that I use all the time. I'm excited to share it with you. Let's jump into Fusion. Here I am on the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm gonna go up to the media pool, right click, and I'll say new Fusion composition. And it asks me some settings, I'll just say create. Then I'll double click on the Fusion, open it up here in the Fusion page. Here we have one lonely node, media out. I'm gonna grab this and drag that to the right. I'm also gonna grab a background node just grab that and drag that down and connect it to my media out. This is pretty much where I start with all motion graphics. It helps set the settings and it's just kind of nice to start with a black background. Let's get to adding the fog. On the toolbar here in the middle of my interface, the second icon over is called fast noise. I'm gonna grab this and drag it down. If you've used After Effects and used fractal noise, this is basically the same thing. Really what it does, I'll hit one on the keyboard, is it generates these kind of cloud things. And if you select this node and go up to the inspector, there's all kinds of things you can do to adjust what it looks like. I'll just hit two on the keyboard to bring this up so we can see it a little easier. And pretty much you can play with these until you like them. I like to boost up the detail a little bit and boost up the scale a little bit. So you can kind of see the structure of the clouds a little bit easier. I'm also gonna take this and just merge it over my background. I'll grab the output of the fast noise node and drag it over the little white square on the background node. That'll make a merge node that just says put fast noise over that black background. I'll select my media out node and hit two on the keyboard to bring it up in this right hand viewer. And now we're getting somewhere. It's looking foggy. I'll select our fast noise and I have all different kinds of options here. One that's really cool is seethe. What that does is pretty much just change this, kind of animates this cloud texture. And if you're making something like fog, it doesn't change super fast, but it, it will change a little bit over time. And so what I can do is just push the seethe rate up a little bit and I'll click off and hit spacebar and just see about how fast that's going. I want it to be pretty slow, maybe something like that, 0 0.024. And depending on what you like, you might adjust the detail contrast. You could also go up here to the second icon and adjust the colors. So if you want white fog or, you know, maybe some kind of greenish fog, I like to make it just a little off white usually. Fog isn't usually perfectly white. So that's pretty good. Let's get it to animate a little bit. We already have it moving a little bit because of the seethe rate, but let's have it kind of drift from left to right. Super easy. Go to the first icon here in our inspector, right here where it says center, where it says 0.5. I could either just animate this myself, which would just take a second, or I can use an expression. I'm just gonna type equals in that center X. And what that'll do is add a little expression and it will ask for a point. Right now it has nothing and then 0.5. So what I wanna do is animate this first X value of this point. So I could type time and let's see what that does. What that's gonna do is set my center to the current frame. So if I'm on frame 56, this is going to be 56. This is probably gonna be way too fast. I'm gonna rewind to the beginning of our comp and yeah, it's crazy sauce. So what I can do is just divide time. I like to divide it by 100. I'll go to the beginning of our comp and here we have it moving sideways. So let's divide it by 500. There, that's nice and tasteful. And the good thing is we always have that fog moving as long as time is going forward. So we don't have to worry about keyframes or anything. What I like to do is use this for a background for graphics or for, you know for a title that comes up and just has like a little bit of fog in the background. And the easiest, cheapest way to make it look like there's just ground fog in kind of behind a graphic is just to straight up mask it. With my fast noise selected, I'll just go here to my toolbar and select a rectangle mask. That's just going to mask it under a rectangle. The width, I'll just push out to one and the height maybe will bring it down and I'll bring the center down to be kind of the lower part of this screen. I can also soften the edge of this mask just by pushing up this soft edge and starts to soften it like that. I do have one problem that it's softening the edges on the sides, which is not necessarily what I want. So what I can do is just make this a little bit wider than the screen. Maybe I'll put in two instead of one, and then I won't have that problem anymore. But I want that to be really soft. I can even adjust the height to make this a really soft little piece of ground fog. And we'll play this. There you go. Nice and spooky. So yeah, this works great if you have maybe a graphic or a title that comes up here. I've definitely used that once or twice. You can even use this as a visual effect if you wanted to and merge it on top of a picture. Let's try that real quick. I have a picture of a field. Just grab that, merge that over my background. Now I have some fog kind of going across the field. You get the idea. It's very versatile. 
versatile. That's a word that means you can use it for lots of stuff. I use it for lots of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I use this technique to add a little bit of spice to things all the time. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like, and for more post-production and fusion and compositing graphics tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button here on my channel on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I'll catch you next time.